Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is thinking about the next steps in the relationship. This person is trying to make plans for the future of the connection. Um, this person is wanting to really think ahead. There's an energy of wanting to see how they approach you next or where this connection is going. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Six of Wands, and this is Fire Energy. Next, you have the Six of Swords, Air Energy. And we have the Star card, Aquarius Energy. So this person is definitely thinking about what's next, what's to come. This person wants to move this connection along. They want to move forward. They want to, there's a part of them that wants to go with the flow with that Six of Wands, um, the Six of Swords. There is this energy of, you know, wanting this connection to really progress and to move in the right direction, to move towards some sort of peaceful place. Um, there is also an energy of them wanting to make this connection official. This person sees a future with you with the star card there they are thinking long term there's also a hopeful energy this person is quite optimistic about the future of this connection and um they they often think about the future this person has um plans they have ideas of where they want this to go and they are seeing this connection as something that could be very successful this person may even want to have plans about traveling with you um there is this desire to really move this connection along so let's clarify these cards aries So at the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers, and this is Gemini energy. So this is an energy of wanting some sort of connection here. Yeah, this person feels a strong connection. They feel like this is a high-level connection. There's also a desire to um, be more vulnerable. There's also an energy of choices here. Um, this can be being at a crossroads, choices around commitments. There's decisions that are needing to be made. And this person is really thinking about this at this time. Um, they do feel like this is an intense connection that can't be replicated. Um, this person really cares for you. And there's this acknowledgement on their part that this is it for them. There's this recognition that this could be a soulmate connection. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Sun card, and this is Leo energy. We have the Empress, Venus energy, and we have the Ace of Cups, Water energy. So this person sees you as someone who makes them very happy. This person is gearing up to express something to you. Um, this is some sort of emotional expression about their feelings, about loving you, about wanting to take things to the next level. Um, we are seeing very transparent energy here with the nakedness. Um, this person wants to be very honest with you and authentic with you and they want to open up to you. They feel safe to, not, to do that. There's this energy of this person feeling like this connection is it for them and they are ready to offer their, themselves, offer their heart, um, have some sort of new beginning, take things to a new level with that Ace of Cups and it's very sincere. This person is heart is overflowing. There is an energy here of a lot of emotional contentment on their side when it comes to this connection and they are thinking 
um, you know, about moving this connection forward. With the Empress, that's how they view you. They do see you as someone that they've planted seeds with and they feel like you guys, this connection could be quite fruitful. Um, this person is seeing you as a prize. They see you as valuable. They see you as one of a kind. They see you as an asset and they see you as someone they want to be committed to. They want to be in a partnership with you. They want to take the connection that they have with you seriously. So we are seeing future oriented energy with the star card there. There's this longing to have more from this connection and there is an energy of them initiating that, um, opening the door towards talks about commitment and, um, making this something more long lasting or more official. Okay. So I'm going to plan an Oracle card for you, Aries. So we have your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. So this person is thinking heavily about commitments. This person is thinking about making this official. There's this energy of really, um, you know, planning for some sort of commitments or taking things to a higher level. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Aries. So the card says, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So there's an energy here of someone who wants to have a new beginning with you. They're thinking about the future. They're not focusing on the past. This person is ready to take things to a new level. They want to change the dynamic of the connection. And we are seeing them wanting to make the connection more committed in some way. So if this has been a connection where things have been up in the air, this person wants to change the expectations of the dynamic. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Aries. So the card says, forget me not, eternal memories. The best things in life are the people you've loved, the places you've seen and the memories you've made along the way. So you've really left an impact on, impact on this person. This person feels very deeply for you with this lover's energy. This person does feel like this is a soulmate connection. They feel like there's something deep and meaningful here. And there is an energy of um, this person could never forget you. This person, they want to commit to this. There's this energy of really um, wanting to stick to this and to make this into something more serious. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.